Hi, I'm Benjamin and I'm the author of Master Math Models and the lead tutor at Trinity Learning Centre. Today I'll be solving the PSLE Math 2024 box volume and height question. Uh, I understand that it is also called the block question. So uh, whatever we call it doesn't really matter, right? Okay, so now the, the very first thing the very first thing that you want to do is you want to underline all your keywords. Remember to do that, okay? So first is you got to underline that uh, it is made up of solid A and solid B. That's what we formed the block. It says that A has a volume of 384, B has a volume of 1056. Okay, these are their volumes. Uh, maybe what we can do is we can write here uh, 384. And then we can write here 1056, okay? Cubic centimeters, cubic centimeters. Then they continue by saying that the height of B is 14 more than height of A. So what that means is that this height, which is the height of B, is 14 more than this height. So, if we decide that we are going to call the height of A, H, then what are we going to call B, knowing that it is 14 cm taller? Now, before I teach you that, let's look at the, what the question is asking you to find. It's asking you to find the height of the entire block. In other words, this is the question. Now, before we can answer this question, we need to first ask ourselves, what is the height of B? Well, the height of A, since we have decided to call that H, then I want you to now imagine if I am somehow able to take A and place it on B. Okay, I'm going to show you how that is going to be done. So first, I'm going to draw over A, to form the shape of A. Then I'm going to take this shape and I'm going to overlay it over B. Okay? Now, uh, I'm thinking it might be a better idea if I do this. Let me take this. Or for that matter, let me take this. It'll be even clearer. Okay, let me duplicate it. Hang on, it's not functioning properly. There you go. And then I pull it down. And I put it here. So it's the same shape, right? So this is A. And now A is part of B. So as you can see over here, you have the height of A still shown. And B's height is this much. And we know that B is 14 taller than A. So that means that this portion has to be 14. Okay, this has to be 14 centimeters because the height of B is 14 taller than A, so height, the height of B is H plus 14. Okay, so how is this useful? Well, if you were to look at this now, we know that the volume of this portion is 1056, and we know that the volume of this portion is 384. So if you were to take 1056 minus 384, you will get the volume of this part. Okay? Let's call this part C for convenience. All right? So what is the volume of C? So to find the volume of C, I will need to take 1056 and subtract 384.
this will give me a volume of 672 cubic centimeters. Oh, this is a mistake. This should be cube. Huh? These are all volumes, so these shouldn't be square. And 672. So this is 672 cubic centimeters. It's a volume. And if I know the volume and I know the height, what can I find? Well, if you know your formulas, the formula for finding base area, or maybe I should start from this. Volume is equals to length times breadth times height. Length times breadth is also known as base area. So base area times height is also volume. I know that the volume of this portion is 672. I also know that the height is 14. So if I now take, if I write this 672 equals to base area times 14, I will be able to find base area by taking 672 and I dividing it this by 14. Okay, let me double check this on my calculator. I should get 48. Okay, I do. So 48 is the base area. It is 48 cm square. Now, of course, base area, which is at the bottom, is the same as the area on top. And since I know that this is 4, I know that this is 4. If I use the base area and divide by 4, I should get the length. But First of all, what is the question? The question is, what is the height of the block? To find the height of the block, I will need to be able to find h, because this is a number that I still don't know. But I now have a new piece of information, which is that the base of this uh, solid is 48 cm square okay so basically what that means is that if i were to draw this inside then this area is 48 cm square which means that the top is also 48 cm square i also know that if i were to take volume divided by base area i will get height so in order to find height, I will take volume divided by base area. I know that the volume of this portion is 384. I know that the base area is 48, and that's what I'm going to do. So 384 divided by 48, let's see what we get, should give me 8. So this 8 that we just found is the height over here. Now, remember that this height is the same as the one here. So that means this height is also 8. Now, if we were to look at all the numbers together, we can see now that there is an 8 here. There is a 14 here. If I were to draw these lines. And there is another 8 here. So, I'm putting this here for you to see so it's clear. So, there's an 8 here. There's a 14 here. And there's an 8 here. So, what is the height? Well, 8 plus 14 plus 8. And that will give me the height, which is the question. So, the height of the block is simply 8 plus 8, plus 14, okay, all this in centimeters, and your answer should be 30 centimeters. And that's it. We have solved the question. Okay, uh, you can see in the description my Telegram group where you can join and pick up uh, blank copies of these worksheets for you to try again if you want to practice them. Also, 
really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and give me a few comments to let me know if this has worked for you. Also, I'll see you at the other questions that I'll be solving for the PSLE 2024. And if you want past your questions, 23, 22, it's all there in the different playlists. Look for it and I'll see you in the other questions. Bye-bye.